All right, so here's an old train unit that's using the capacitors as crankcase heat. I got the contactor pulled off and we've got 2.6 amps of current flowing through both lines, incoming lines, 2.6. Now that is going through, um, we've got two capacitors here. One is a 20 and this is a 30. So that 2.6 amps is going through this capacitor here right here 2.6 and that's because this has this one orange which is tied to the start winding on this capacitor so if we clip the start winding again 2.6 okay and, and uh, now the common for this capacitor over here is going to the line side of this contactor on this brown wire see there's the current all right now this capacitor over here isn't doing anything right now. So as soon as we, um, as soon as we energize the contactor, now this capacitor, the common, comes to it and then it starts pulling amperage. So let's see here. Getting beat up by mosquitoes too. All right, so here we are. I got it clipped on that one. Now it's just touching this. So that's not a good. One. All right, here it goes. And now both contact or both capacitors are in the circuit. See. Now I've got 5.2 amps on my start winding. This is a very special wiring setup. See, we'll do it again. We'll pull this. 24 hours a day. That's that's very inefficient. That's why no one does this anymore. Very inefficient. But all right, oh. I made it go out on the rotor. All right.